In the 18th century, Benoit was known for the outside world as Moravian's Manchester, thanks to its impressive development of industrialization and trade with other parts of Austro-Hungarian Empire. One of the most famous sons from that period was the Augustinian monk Gregor Mendel, who derived the most fundamental law of heredity by observing his own pea plants in the garden. In the middle of the historical center, one can visit the second largest ossuary in Europe. This tourist site is definitely not reserved only for the morbid souls. It is an important piece of evidence to explain for the modern people how Slavic inhabitants envisaged the difference between life and death in Moravia in the old time. The ossuary in Brno was founded. In the 17th century, and expanded in the 18th century, there are over 50,000 human corpses, which were rediscovered in this underground burial place, and the Church of Saint James by local archaeologists in 2001. Bernau's industrial heritage had brought wealth and pride to the city. An interesting collection of the most momentous product can be found in the Technical Museum on the outskirts of the city. For an enthusiastic turbine engineer like us, one of the most intriguing pieces of items is the Copland propeller type water turbine. The Austrian inventor Victor Koplan served as a professor in German Technical University in Brno after he had worked as a motor specialist in Vienna at the end of the 19th century. This is Maria, and I'm in the middle of the engineering museum in Brno. Here we do have a very old video camera. From the television network in Czech Republic, many, many, many years ago, the mass media world was much different back in the communist period in comparison with how it is now. Somebody would like to say the commercial was less and people were doing the real program, but on the other side. Much of the program or the political propaganda and enslave somebody by letting them to do as you want them to do voluntarily. That is brainwashing. Skuda Group had witnessed many historical reformations. The region was established as a bicycle manufacturer. When Moravia was still part of Austro-Hungarian Empire, after the First World War, this company started to produce trucks and motorcycles. During the Second World War, the factory was controlled by Reichswehr Hermann Göring and served German. After 1945, Scooter Automobile was nationalized by the communist government. And became a part of planned economy. The trademark Skoda soon lost its former reputation. At the end of 1980, very few customers from the West would consider to buy a Skoda because of the company was still manufacturing vehicles in accordance with the concept which dated back in 1960s. These toys do bring a lot of memories back from the time when I was a very, very young girl. And today, when I look at them, I start to feel a kind of sorrow over the fact that the past is over and all the joy and all the sorrows gone with it. But by looking at toys. Which were very similar to the toys I had. I do start to rethink about many things I thought was good, and other things I thought was bad.
Another famous tourist site in Bernoua is UNESCO Heritage, a freestanding three-story villa in the wealthy neighborhood Cernapolle. Standing in front of the Tachentat Villa, which was probably one of the first functionist villa which were built in the world, this is actually one of the nicest and most romantic gifts. A guy gave to his wife when they get married. The owner of this villa was originally a Jewish merchandise. The Jewish factory owner Fritz Tolkenhardt and his wife Greta could only enjoy this wonderful residence in eight years before they fled to Switzerland with their small children in 1938. A year later, this house was confiscated by the Gestapo and used as residence for higher officers. Many valuable interior decorations vanished with different tenants. At the end of the Second World War, the facade was seriously damaged during a combat operation. For political devotees. This house serves as a symbol of independence. In 1992, political leaders from Czechoslovakia signed the official documents, which formally divided the country into two separate states. Today, Bernoua is the second largest city in Czech Republic after the collapse of the communist regime in the 90s. Many beautiful historical monuments has been prepared carefully. Flamboyant Moravian folklore was again an obvious part of everyday life. <laughs>